Hi guys, this is my first video of the year and it's gonna kick off with a right bang. So it's Crowley Town versus Bradford City match reaction. Uh one one draw. Um very poor goal to concede really but I don't know what Alex Gilead were doing really because there was obvious there was an option to his left and before it um came out he could have um passed it straight to Brad Halliday. Um my thoughts on Chapman today, he was he had a blinding game. We were very unlucky really to not score the ball just wouldn't drop for us really and um we just couldn't score but um we need to work on getting the balls into the back of the net and creating more chances and taking more chances because at points in that game we were very sloppy and like we our missed chances were sort of coming back to haunt us and I'm gonna talk about the Crawley goal. Um Alex Gilead got the ball and turned around to pass I think he turned around to pass back to I think it was Romany Critchlow and obviously the Crawley striker was there and he passed it straight to the Crawley striker and had to make a clumsy foul really and it was a very clumsy foul and they got the free kick from it and obviously the score they put it left bottom corner and it was a very nice free kick but it was very unnecessary I think because yet again I'm gonna say he had options to his left and right and we have this ongoing thing of playing out from the back and I don't have a problem with that but when we play out from the back and we get to the halfway line we sort of just stop and pass it all the way back if we're getting pressed rather than making runs we like come to a complete standstill and really just like just stop creating options and chances and yeah we just stop and the defence overall was really solid I think Brad Halliday had a really good game and so did Platt Maybe all the defence had a good game just a couple of times Foles could have looked over his shoulder and maybe sometimes Critchlow could have made the right decision and obviously a big mistake for Platt was uh, and he was very unlucky tried to head it back to Lewis but it went really wide and Lewis, and conceded the corner because Lewis couldn't get to it <clears throat> and the midfield I think Chapman Banks and Banks had a good game Pereira had an average game I think not he didn't really do anything until after he scored his goal so that's why um, I'm going to give him an average game because I don't think he really did much and you might not agree but it, his goal was lovely though um, good ball from Tyreek Wright into into Pereira and then obviously the keeper comes out and he dinks it over him which is a really nice finish and it was good vision from Tyreek Wright and another player who had a put um had a really good performance. Uh the ball just wouldn't drop when we were in the box, it just really wouldn't drop. I think Smallwood and Gilead had really I think Smallwood played poor to say he's been in good form recently and Gilead I don't know what what what, what went on today really with Gilead because he sort of looked a bit 
confused in where his position was. And like I say, I made the mistake from the to concede the goal. And um, I think Andy Cook had a all right performance. Obviously, every striker goes through drought spells, like because he scored thirteen goals already or something. I think it's thirteen. And um, yeah, every striker goes through droughts, goal droughts, and. I don't know why we don't play Jake Young because he's got a right shot on him. Instead, we play for Dane Oliver, who I don't think he's really gelled together with the players yet. And maybe he could be a very promising player in the future, but I don't really think he's gelled yet. So I think he needs a bit more time in the dressing room and a bit more time in training to bond with his teammates and like gel together with his teammates and Scott Banks had a good game he straight as he came on he made a real impact making runs and just linking up with Brad Halliday really well Tyreek Wright also had a absolute great game I think that's a well, that's a good signing for us, and I'm going to talk about Harry Lewis now. Harry Lewis, he had a good game, and no real mistakes from him. He came out on corners, he commanded his area well, and yeah, he just did everything pretty much right. Um, I don't think there was anything he could have done about the free kick because it obviously was right in the bottom corner. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> and obviously Crawley did play some decent football at times. The they were threatening when we were we were we went through a we always seem to go through a spell where we go sloppy and sloppy and like we can't p pitch pass together pitch pass together and it always happens in the first half we play good for the first 10 20 minutes and then we'll just go on a really sloppy run and eventually teams will figure that out and they'll punish us for it crawley should have punished us for it if they were a bit better today um if it were their day then they could have really punished us um Verdane Oliver, obviously, um, he's got that one goal and I think he's just sort of obviously not gelled yet. And I think he's a bit, not bad, but he's like, he just hasn't got to the point where he's confident enough to get past players and confident enough to score goals and go and shoot. Uh, um, there were a couple of chances where he could have scored from today and it was I think he were really sort of like I don't know how to say it but it was like it was a very poor performance from him to put it that way and he uh, obviously yeah it was a poor performance from him really and there's nothing else to say about the day and all over. Um, Crawley tried to play football. You've got to give credit. They tried to play some football. They didn't just come and say, oh, we're just going to come and sit back and not do anything all game. And like, like, Donca the, like the likes of Doncaster and I can't remember who else, but Doncaster and Stevenage, I think. But eventually broke down Stevenage and obviously Jake Young scored a good goal. I think he should be getting into the side more often. And I think he should definitely be on the bench at least. Um, Dion Pereira, I think he could do with um, a little rest on the bench because he hadn't really done anything. And he, 
sort of doesn't look as good of a player as he did last season, but maybe that goal's giving him a confidence boost and that might kickstart his season. And we need to try and play to his strengths, like Platt said. Um, but overall, it was an alright game. Crawley, Crawley really like bossed us in the midfield, I think. But then we, like, they couldn't get past our defence because the defence was solid today, as I've already said. Yeah, that's all I've got to say. So, I will be doing a match preview on the next game. I will find out which one it is and then I will do a match preview. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, subscribe and hit the like button, please. It really I really appreciate it and it really helps out. Thanks guys, see you in the next one.